We need four squared. That floor is too small. Okay, let's do six squared. Six by six, 36. Yeah, that's better. Let's start with that floor. All right, what's negative three cubed? Don't get scared now. We're talking negative three times negative three times negative three. Now, a negative times a negative makes it positive. But when you multiply by another negative, okay, so a positive times a negative, that's gonna make it, oh, negative. And what's three by three by three? Well, three threes, that's nine, and then nine threes is 27. So negative three cubed is negative 27. Whoa. What about negative two cubed? Okay, so a negative times a negative, positive. But you multiply by another negative, okay, that's gonna make it negative. So we know that the answer here is negative. So let's just think, what's two by two by two? Yeah, if you said Ocho, you're correct. Two by two by two is eight. So negative two cubed is negative eight. Meow, say, meow. Let's make it hot, I say. Negative five cubed, a negative times a negative, positive. When you multiply by another negative, that's gonna make the whole thing negative because this is negative five times negative five times negative five. What is five by five by five? Well, five fives, that's 25. You know that one, that one's too easy. And then when you multiply 25 by another five, you get 125. What is negative 100 to the third power? We'll find out at the end of this episode, so don't go anywhere. Smash that big red button that says subscribe. And join the Greater Gators class to get full length episodes. See you next time. God bless. Let's look at negative six cubed. Okay, so a negative times a negative, positive. When you multiply by a third negative number, you make the whole thing negative. So you just gotta ask yourself, what's six by six? Well, we already know the answer to six by six. Six by six is 36. And then you multiply it again by six, you're gonna get 216. Yeah, 216. That's six by six by six. So negative six cubed is negative 216. Don't get scared. Let's do this the easy way. All right, what is negative two Welcome. to the fourth power? That means you multiply negative two by negative two by negative two by negative two. Okay, a negative times a negative, positive. So you do that again and you still end up with a positive number. This is simply two by two, which is four, by two, which is eight, by two, which is 16. Hmm, so they're starting to see a pattern here, yeah, right? When you square a negative number, you get a positive number. When you go to the fourth power, you get a positive number. When you go to the third power, you get a negative number. Let's look at one more. Negative three to the fourth power. Okay, negative times negative, that's positive. So when you have a negative times a negative, times a negative times a negative, that's a positive times a positive, you're gonna get a positive number here. Three by three, nine. Three by three, nine. So you're really talking about nine squared here at this point. Nine squared. And we already know what nine squared is. Nine squared is simply equal to 81. Yeah. So, the negative three to the fourth power is 81. Uh. 
numbers. Welcome to the bonus section. Negative four to the fourth power. Okay, a negative times a negative, positive. And then you're gonna have another negative times another negative, positive. So that's why we're gonna have a